Hey everyone, this is Jared with Carbon Digital and Dev Guys. So today we're going to be talking about how to add the Google Search Console code to your website so that you can verify your domain. Um, so right here on the main page of Google, you can see that I'm logged in because my icon's there. I'm going to click on the apps button, which is the little grid of boxes, and then click on more. That's going to open up some more options and click on even more from Google. And this is going to pull up the list of all Google products. So what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to scroll down a few times until this sticky menu shows up and then click on all products. That'll take you to the bottom here. So initially you want to minimize this for all button and then open up the for business button. That's just going to make it a little bit faster for you. All right, so in the business section, we're going to look for the search console. So click on that. It's going to open up in a new page. And then right out the gate, this has me logged in. Okay, so this domain that I'm working on is actually a subdomain. I'm going to copy this dev.carbondigital.us. And I'm going to open that up in. The search console and then on the right hand side here you're gonna see add a property and that's what you're gonna click on add a property and then type in the URL and then click add and that's gonna come up with a verification page uh, there's a lot of different methods here the first method is upload a file to your website this is not one that I prefer myself because I regularly go through files and see what needs to be deleted. So I prefer the alternate methods. Now, you can use your Google Tag Manager account. So if you select that, uh, it'll walk you through that. You can use your Google Analytics account. You can sign in to the registrar so if you're let's say you're using GoDaddy you can click here and then sign into your domain um, keep in mind that not everyone is listed here yeah not everyone there's a lot of them not listed um, so the easiest method is this HTML tag okay so we're just gonna highlight this and copy it all right so now where does that go that goes in the head section of a website. Well, what does that mean? Okay, so um, if you right click in your browser and click inspect, this will come up with what's called the DOM. And you can see here the very top of the code here is HTML, head, and body. So let's minimize that body. So in short, the body is pretty much everything that's visible, and the head is everything that's not. So when this says, uh, enter this code into the head section, uh, it, they want that to be in here, OK? So let's close this out and show you how to do that. So in WordPress, well, I prefer a really simple plugin. Um, there's a lot of plugins to do a lot of cool things to connect your accounts and stuff, but I prefer using the copy and paste the code. And because of that, I can use one plugin to do it. So if you go to plugin, add new, you're going to type in the search bar on the right hand side custom CSS. And then it's going to pop up with this plugin here, Simple Custom CSS and JS by SilkyPress.com. Um, and then you're going to click Install Now, which looks like this, and then Activate. And once that's activated, you will get the Custom CSS and JS me uh, menu item in your left-hand panel. So if you click on that, it'll take you to another page, but also you can just click on add custom HTML from that sub menu or from this button up here.
So we're going to add HTML. And we're just, just highlight all those comments and take them out of there. And then we're going to paste in that code. Now, I like to do is I like to add comments to my code so that I can tell what's happening. So when you look at your website uh, from the outside, uh, when you're looking at just the code, it'll give you a better picture of what's happening here. So to add a comment in HTML, we're going to do the less than exclamation dash dash and then do space dash dash greater than. Very simple. Um, so in between that, you're going to type in Google Search Console. We'll just copy that and paste after the meta tag that we just put in there. And then I'll just add the word end. And then something that I prefer to do myself is add an additional space after that last line of code, just so that there's a break in the code itself long term. And then we'll enter in the title, Google Search Console. And by default, this goes into the header, which is what we want, and the front end and not the admin section. So where the customers uh, the customer side and not the admin side. And that's what we want as well. So we'll just go ahead and publish that. And we're done with entering the code. Now when you go back to the search console, you're gonna see that there's a verify button here. Uh, keep in mind that the verify does not happen right away. Um, it's going to take some time. Um, in the world of web development, we call this a propagation period. Uh, it takes time for the Google to be able to recognize this code. Um, fortunately, you can click the Not Now button. And what that's going to do is, when you go back to your search console, so you'll click here, Search Console, it'll still stay here, which means that that code is still the same code. So you can come back here and pop it in a day, two days, you know, whenever they check it and verify it at that point in time. Um, and so that is how you add the, the code to your website. Now, back to the HTML on your WordPress site here, if you click on all custom code, now there's going to be times when you need to debug a problem. And if you have an issue ever with anything, one of the things you're going to start doing is disabling plugins. Um, but also, if you find out that your code might be the problem, you can come in here and deactivate your code. Um, you can deactivate Eclipse, which means now this code is going to be commented out. Um, and so let's show you what that looks like. So I'll open up the site, which this is literally a basic site, um, nothing here. I'll click inspect and we, let's close this body tag and open up the head tag. So you can see all the code here. All right. You can see that there is no code here related to um, related to this Google or even my font awesome. So let's go ahead and activate both of those. All right, and then we'll refresh the page. And it's also going to refresh the code, and we will minimize the body open up the head and you can see right away right there there's our Google search console right there and then here is our link for font awesome so if I were to go back into WordPress 
um, open up font awesome. Let's add our comments. Um, all right. Just like that. So if I update that, so now you can see this is exactly what it looks like. All right. Open up the site, refresh, and we have to navigate again. So minimize the body, open up the head, and you can see that the font awesome comments are there now. And it's really that simple. Um, and so that's that's all that you have to keep in mind whenever you're working with uh, WordPress and HTML. Uh, it's very simple to do, but if you don't you can get lost. And so now we're going to take a break and switch to how to do that same thing in in, uh, in Shopify. So we're going to take this code from the search console. Now I'm just going to copy and paste all of that. And we're going to start with this development site here. Uh, you can see here 162 days before I got to pay. And so in Shopify, there's only two places that you can actually enter code. The first place is if you go to pages, uh, any one of these you can open up on this gear icon. There it goes. And click on advanced, and you can put in code that is specific to that page only. But since what we're doing here is a site-wide thing, you want to go to a different section. So back here in the primary menu, we're going to go to Settings. And then we're going to go to Advanced. Now, sometimes you will find that your external API keys will suffice. For example, Google Analytics, Amazon, Google Recaptcha, which, which is pretty cool. Um, Adobe fonts and I think there's a few more coming down the pipe uh, if you have those you can just plug in those keys and it's done uh, but unfortunately the search console like many other things is not part of that so you're gonna have to put the code injection and this is going to put in code for the entire site it says right here every page of your site for the header, the footer, or your lock page, and also your order confirmation page. You can put in custom stuff. Uh, so we just want the header, so we're just going to paste that in there, and then save, and it's and we're done. It's literally that easy. Uh, so that's pretty odd, pretty amazing. <clears throat> and that's all we have for you guys today. Um, if you have any questions, you can comment on the on the YouTube video link or the blog post or whatnot, and we'll get back to you. Um, applying this code is very simple, um, but necessary. Your search console is part of the SEO process, and it's very important to have have this done. And so, if you have any questions on how any of that works, you can shoot us an email, uh, Jared at Carbon Digital dot us dot com thanks for watching and until next time happy coding